Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop is what I'm going to be talking about today. <clears throat> and I'm going to be talking about LibreOffice, a very popular office suite. Um, maybe you want to add some additional templates, additional fonts, and possibly even a dictionary to your system. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. Very popular to write documents, possibly spreadsheets. We all have a need for that once in a while. And, uh, and I use that system myself. And uh, I'm going to be talking about fonts, templates, and a dictionary today. And uh, this is a video made for anyone. But if you are brand new to Linux Mint in general, a special welcome to you. And I'll talk about some uh, additional tips possibly if you are new. Today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. So you can uh, hit stop or pause and adjust your YouTube player accordingly if you are wanting to change the resolution on your YouTube player. I also highly encourage that you subscribe and uh, read my About section and my Community tab for some keyword searches on some additional videos because my library has over 100 of them. So um, I am going to also make mention that none of my videos are less than two minutes, but they all have timelines and chapters. And uh, again, welcome. So I will talk about those items here in a second. And uh, all my videos have timelines and chapters. So I didn't say that already. So under general conditions, LibreOffice gets installed. And I'm also going to install a dictionary in addition to some software. So LibreOffice is very popular, not only with uh, Linux Mint, but also with other Linux distributions or distros. Now, the Office Suite, uh, best price, of course, is free, but uh, it comes with a writer, spreadsheet, and other stuff. You also have um, built-in templates, and I'm going to add some additional ones. And then uh, you can also investigate additional software for LibreOffice, including fonts. So I'm going to talk about a lot of that today. So let me open up Software Manager. Again, if you are brand new to Mint in general, special welcome to you. But uh, normally when you're in Software Manager, there's two types of software. I'm going to give you the example of using GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop. All right. So uh, it's GNU Image Manipulation Program is what GIMP stands for. But you have two different packages here, System and Flatpak. Flathub.org is also what other Linux distros use. And Flatpak software generally is software that runs in a sandboxed environment, isolated from your system. The next piece of software I'm going to install actually has two versions. That's the only reason I make mention of this. So let's go do some searches. We can all click. We can also do searches. I want to put in DIC. I'm looking for Golden Dictionary. I'm going to install it for you. But I wanted to let you see that it has two versions, System and Flatpak or Flathub. Flatpak software. So I'm going to hit install just to let you see that it requires additional software, but that's okay. The software manager knows what to install to make this thing work. So um, I am going to put in Bob's password. Bob is just a made up username. I use different usernames on a lot of my videos. So this will be a fairly quick install. You can see that bar just flying through there. And then I'm going to launch this a little bit later. So I'm going to walk over to fonts for a second and uh, just talk about this. So in addition to the regular fonts you have installed, you can install others just by going in here. So again, if you're new to uh, Linux Mint in general, special welcome to you. But these little green check marks just means that's installed. So if you wanted the Microsoft fonts, for instance, just hit the installation key. So you can see there's a lot of fonts in here that are not installed because it doesn't have green check marks on them. That's what I'm getting at. Way too many to, for me to point at you. Under the office category, we can do keyword searches also, but I wanted to let you see there's a huge scroll bar here with a lot of stuff. In addition to regular office stuff, there's also text editors. Maybe you've seen some of those videos that I've done uh, in the past because this is not my first YouTube channel or possibly on this current one. And Kate is like a text editor. We're going to use keyword searches today. And I'm going to find one particular piece of software first. And uh, actually, I want to use the word Libre Office Space Temp. And uh, I'm going to first install the templates because normally you don't have this installed. 
additional set of templates. And then I'm going to show you the additional packages that are available in your office category. So it has no screenshot. It's a fairly small download. It's 12 megabytes. I'm going to install that. This should be very quick. Then I'm going to back this thing all the way out to office and basically just do a quick scroll. So you'll see a lot of references to LibreOffice in here, but toward the bottom of this uh, area, you'll see it quite a few more. Now I can start seeing all the different things that LibreOffice has available. Okay, so you may want to investigate some of these on your own. All right, I think I've installed the dictionary. Let, let me check. I was talking. Yes, I did. And I installed the additional templates. And uh, we can just type for that again. Libre Office Temp. And we have a green check mark. That means it's installed. So let's go look at some of that stuff. Where do I want to begin? How about if we begin with the dictionary? The dictionary installs itself in the Office category. When you open this, this will uh, put an icon on your taskbar. I'll also show you some hidden tricks with this about resizing text inside of this thing and also in LibreOffice Writer. All right, so we have the About, which is the Golden Dictionary. And I am going to first make mention of some of the tricks that I'm about to show you. And again, I highly encourage that you subscribe to see my other videos Unlike Nemo, the file manager, there'll be a lot of similar tricks in here. I could use the plus or minus to resize text in here. However, to me, this takes forever. I'm going to do it my way. And some of you folks that have already are subscribers, previous subscribers on my old channel, know exactly what I'm doing here. For you folks that do not, I have a very inexpensive computer, USB-based computer mouse. It has a scroll wheel on the top of the mouse, which most new computer mice do. I'm going to take my left hand, hold and depress, hold and depress the control key. You need to hold it down while using your scroll wheel on your computer mouse to resize. As soon as you release that control key, it doesn't work anymore. Now I'm just rolling my finger over the scroll wheel. Nothing's happening. That's one suggestion for you. You can still do it the old fashioned way. If you folks have a laptop with a touchpad on it, I have one that has Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon installed on it, and it does work on my system. If you depress and hold down your control key while taking two fingers and going uh, on your touchpad and you slide them up and down, it should do this. It may be a little sensitive, but it should do that. Okay. Here's another trick for you. Double click on this imaginary line up here to resize this thing. There's uh, also two ways to close this box. I can use the little guy in the corner or I can use Alt F4. However, this icon stays resident. Okay, now I'm gonna type a word. Carpet, I'm just using anything. The cool thing about this is it also has photos. I'm gonna resize the text my way. Again, you can do it the old fashioned way. I know you can't read the text. I just wanted to let you see there's lots of pictures in here or photographs. Okay, so it's a fairly decent dictionary is what I think. It also has etymology. The translation for that is where the word come from. Okay, so there you have that. What happens when I hit the close or Alt F4? It just goes resident and stays down here. You can reopen that. Now to get rid of it, Right click and quit. Now, when you reopen this though, this will open up in the same format that I started with. So I'll just put in the same word, carpet. Okay, so far so good. It doesn't matter if I use Alt F4 or this button here. It still will just put the icon on the, on the panel and I can reopen that later. Let's walk over to um, your office and open up LibreOffice. Now that I've installed some additional templates, I should have some additional templates in here. I don't know what they are, but there should be some more that I didn't have before. Let's put it that way. So LibreOffice is very popular with a lot of Linux distributions or distros. Did you also know that LibreOffice Writer, Document Writer, can also save documents in Microsoft formats? 
So um, first of all, I'm just going to type in a word. Test one, two, doesn't matter. I'm going to use my trick also to resize. And I'm just doing this in a hurry. I just wanted to take a look at this really quick. Okay, I'm using the exact same thing as I did in the dictionary for resizing. All right, let's talk about save as. When you're doing a save as, go take a look at the drop down key here. Your, your standard one is ODT or, or OTT, one of those two. However, there's docx right there for Word 2027, 2007, 365, and there's also the Word 97, 2003, dot doc as examples. There's more formats down here. Okay, that's a save as. You can also look at the, your fonts this way by clicking that. It should show you what they look like. Of course, you can start typing, but more importantly, and then of course your sizes. If you have never used um, LibreOffice, it's a fairly easy learning curve, at least I think so. You can also do exactly what I did earlier, my trick about making this larger. Just click on that imaginary line there, or you can do it the old-fashioned way, your choice. Okay, just wanted to give you some examples of that. What version is this one? You'll find in some Linux distros, this version will be slightly different. But more importantly, I think anything after 7 is a decent, uh, decent version of LibreOffice. And the best price, of course, is it's free, unlike some other Office packages. I want to hit uh, Don't Save. What if I actually use that Alt F4 without saving anything? Well, let me give you an example of that. So I'm just going to open up Writer without typing anything. If you needed to, you opened this by mistake and you wanted to you know, close that real quick, you don't need to aim for that button there. Just use Alt F4 and it'll close it immediately. Okay. I think I've pretty much covered what I needed to cover today. Thank you for watching, folks.